Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and it's wonderful to see all of you here again. So today I have something really awesome to share that I discovered earlier this week during my live stream, which, by the way, if you're interested in live editing, Q&A sessions, discussing landscape photography, or just hanging out, even submitting your own photos for critique, I stream every Wednesday afternoon right here on this channel. Anyways, during the live stream, I was testing out Lightroom Mobile for the first time, and I confirmed that all the comments that I got in my old calibration video were true that the panel just doesn't exist in Lightroom Mobile. Yet the settings were carrying over from Lightroom Classic for the photos that I edited in there. Wait, what? <laughs> Long story short, I actually found a workaround to enable the calibration panel in Lightroom Mobile, and I'm gonna show you how to do it yourself. So let's get started. All right, so to be able to do this, you're gonna need an installation of Lightroom Classic on a PC or Mac. But if you don't have that installed, I will provide some presets that you can download at the end of the video, just stay tuned. Uh, and also speaking of Classic, I'll be using the words Lightroom Mobile to designate what Adobe now calls Lightroom. Think the app on your phone or your tablet or even your computer. Uh, and I'll be using the word Classic to designate, well, Lightroom Classic, what we've been using for 10 years. It's a little confusing, so I'm just gonna make sure to keep calling them that. So anyways, what you need to do is you need to, if you don't use Classic already, make sure you create a catalog once you open it and add a photo to it. And if you already have Classic and you use it, just open any catalog and then we'll set up the syncing right now. So head into Adobe Lightroom Classic and make sure that you have this catalog synced. I obviously do for this catalog um, and you can just turn this on in your settings. So the best way to now tell Adobe what you want to sync to your cloud is to come over here to collections, create a collection. I'm just gonna call mine Lightroom Sync. I'm gonna unselect include selected photos, even though this is the photo that I'll probably add. And the biggest one is you just wanna make sure that says sync with Lightroom. And then on the left-hand side, you'll see a little icon that designates that this collection gets synced to Lightroom. So I'm just gonna drag this photo into Lightroom Sync. You just wanna add one photo to that collection doesn't have to be any special photo. We're just gonna use that particular photo to transfer the settings of it over to Lightroom Mobile. So let me open up Lightroom and just give it a second to sync and it should show up over here in the albums. So I'm just gonna wait a second until it does that. So something you can check is over here, there should be a little swirly icon that says it's syncing and mine never did that, although sometimes, it, yeah, see, it showed up and it never actually did that. So now that this has showed up, we now have this photo in Lightroom Mobile. Um, but please remember that anything in the mobile version that, especially when you're syncing to the cloud, is only the smart preview of the photo. So it didn't actually transfer the whole raw over, it only transferred smart preview. So now that we know our photo is in Lightroom, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back to Lightroom Classic. We're gonna go to develop. And for example's sake, I'm gonna boost the green primary and the green saturation. And if you didn't happen to see my video on camera calibration, you can check it out here if you need a refresher, but everything in this video is only gonna make sense if you watch that and understand why we're doing what we're doing. So now that I've made those changes, let's go back into Lightroom Mobile and give it a second to sync. It should update with those changes to prove that the calibration panel or the calibration settings in Lightroom Mobile actually work, even though if you open up the settings pane over here, they don't actually exist to be able to control in Lightroom Mobile. So just waiting for it to sync. It definitely is taking longer over Wi-Fi than it did on my computer when I tested this earlier. So I'm just gonna, oh, there it goes. So you can tell that it has now got the settings from Lightroom Classic. So this proves that the calibration settings actually work in Lightroom Mobile, you just can't adjust them or see them in the settings pane when you're editing a photo, which I think is a bit weird considering it's there, you just can't actually use it. So at first I thought maybe that it was just using the preview file. So for example, I'm editing the photo in Classic and then it just sends the preview file over to mobile. But I did some testing, I made some presets in mobile and applied it to fo other photos and it works. So we're gonna do that really quick. And this is the basis of this entire tutorial is that we're gonna create a preset that mimics or replicates what it's doing in Lightroom Classic. So let's go head back into Lightroom and I'm gonna head actually back into Lightroom Classic and I'm actually gonna reset the photo completely. And then what I'm gonna do 
is bring the blue saturation slider to 100. And what that's gonna do is basically, again, if you didn't watch my video, that's what I normally use the calibration panel for, and that's how we're gonna make our first preset. So once that syncs, I'm gonna wait for it to sync, and then we'll add that into our presets. All right, so now it's synced up and it only has the blue calibration slider set. So that means that these photos are exactly the same. The only setting applied to it is blue calibration set to 100. And obviously you can't see it in the settings because it doesn't exist. But how we're going to basically mimic being able to use the calibration panel is we're gonna come in here to presets and you can see I already have all the other ones that I'm gonna make. You're gonna come over here to create presets. I'll name this one blue saturation 100. Uh, and then I'm gonna uncheck all of these and only leave the color profile on. And what that's gonna do is basically just save the blue saturation setting. So you can see here that I have the other presets that I've made for everything else. I even have some stylized presets in here that mimic what they did in Lightroom Classic. So one of the biggest benefits of mobile is that the preset we just made will sync to all installations of mobile. So I checked all of these presets on my computer behind me, on my phone, and even on an iPad, and they all worked just like I expected. So what does this mean? It means that the calibration settings actually exist in mobile, you just can't get to them. And it's kind of crazy to realize that and make me wonder, well, if they're in the program, why can't I edit them? Why can't I manipulate them? However, if you just follow the steps we just went over, we can kind of replicate the different settings that you might use in the calibration panel in Classic. And I've gone ahead and done this and already included the one that I use the majority of the time, which is 100 blue saturation. But I've also included 11 other settings, just like you saw when we were editing in Lightroom. I've included basically 35, 65, and 100% saturation sliders for each color. And I've also included three artistic or more stylized looks if you want to use them. So if you wanna save yourself some time making these or you simply don't wanna install Lightroom Classic because you're a mobile user and you wanna skip the hassle, I've gone ahead and put all these together so you can download them from my website here and I'll also have a link down below. I am charging a small fee, but it just simply helps support me and I've shown you how to make them yourself. Realistically, it would just save you time and show support for me. No pressure there though. I don't really consider this a preset pack. It's more of a workaround to enable a panel that isn't present in mobile that you might miss from Classic if you used it, or that you might want because you watched my video and all you use is mobile. These won't edit your photos for you, and you'll want to apply them before doing your typical editing to an image, while also following the general instructions I talked about in my original calibration video. So, another shocking thing about this whole thing is that even range masks work. It's the one other missing thing in Lightroom Mobile, but I can't change them. And I'm still working out how I can hack their way into mobile, but I doubt there's a simple implementation like this one. Anyways, thank you for watching everyone. And if you found this video interesting, please like it. It helps me out the most. Let me know if you have any issues making these, or if you do end up downloading the presets, sorry, settings, they're not really presets. Let me know if you have any trouble there. And I'll see you again next week or earlier, hanging out in my stream on Wednesday. Later.